If you have a garden, then you know how painful it can be to deal with weeds. Now imagine if you could take a whole ton of electricity and blow them to smithereens. Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo, where today we'll be covering some awesome agricultural equipment, not excluding one built solely to zap weeds. If you enjoy this kind of content, then feel free to subscribe or like the video to see more like it in the future. First up, we have the Weed Zapper. This system takes power from the tractor's PTO and converts it into a high-voltage electric current to eradicate weeds. The electrodes are set at a height where conduction can only happen through the stem of younger weeds. The high working voltage is produced by utilizing a five-step power amplification process. Of course, the Weed Zapper comes standard with all safety features to prevent any accidents. Several types of electric weeders were made at the beginning of the 19th century. These are becoming more popular as many farmers abandon chemical weed solutions due to health concerns, which some claim can cause cancer. Next, we have the Robomax JD. Brower Kesmac, a Canadian company, manufactures this state-of-the-art automated saw and harvester. Its electronic auto steer makes micro adjustments, while the hydraulic cutting head with adjustable down pressure delivers precise cuts with consistent placement and proven automatic flap control. The Robomax JD always makes a neat pallet because it has an innovative gripper head with a squeeze mechanism for fine-tuning stacking adjustments. The Robomax JD is easy to move around and simple to use without sacrificing comfort. It also has software and diagnostics that are easy on the wallet. The adjustable pallet injector can stack up to 18 different size pallets and double-sided pallets. Multi-machine operations can move fallen pallets away from the cut line. Up next, we have the Pumpkin Harvester. David Bowman Limited, the largest European pumpkin producer, owns this purpose-built machine. Annually, the company sells several million fresh pumpkins to supermarkets in the UK and other European suppliers. Unlike standard pumpkin harvesters, which only get seed, the company needed a machine that could safely pick up new, ripened pumpkins. Before deploying this machine, the pumpkins are cut from their roots. Then this machine picks them up directly from the ground. After that, these are washed and put into crates. Next, we have the Airflex from Honeybee. This is a unique multi-crop harvester offering a working width of 50 feet. It features sensors and air suspension allowing the header to shave the ground and pick up more peas, lentils, and soybeans. It may be utilized in flex or stiff mode by pressing a button in the cap. The cutter bar remains stiff in rigid mode, which is great for cereals. The Air Flex shaves the ground in flex mode and is ideal for soybeans, peas, and lentils. The air suspension is lightweight, quick to respond, and endlessly adaptable. The header height system maintains the header at the optimal height in all terrains and cutting modes. An innovative control panel is featured, allowing the user complete control of this machine.
Up next, we have the DeWolf R3060. It is a self-propelled two-row sieving harvester that can be used in both wet and dry conditions, as well as on flat or hilly terrain. It comes with an automatic depth control system, a side shift, and a haul topper. Two drag shoes at the bottom maintain the flails at a specific height above the ridges, each operating a lifting cylinder. Since it is attached to the front wheel frame, the hum topper breaks up the dirt in turns. The depth can be automatically adjusted from the cab. The harvesting and driving joysticks give the driver great comfort and simplicity. Moreover, this harvesting machine is powered by the Scania DC9385A, which is a 350 horsepower engine and offers smooth running and low consumption operations. Next, we have the SC300 front. This cultivator is a front-mounted attachment designed for tractors, offering a working width of 3 meters. It has a large rotor diameter, making it possible to till deeper for better growing bed preparation. Its powertrain takes power from a 250 horsepower engine to take on any soil conditions. Its mountable adjustable ridge formers move dirt towards the ridge and away from the wheel track without pressing the soil. This ensures that there is enough loose dirt to produce a planter ridge. It works best with a 250 horsepower tractor and the MS4000, which is a four row planter. Up next, we have the Continuous Manure Applicator from CADMAT. This manure applicator is based on two units, but is operated by one person. The injector unit has a patent swivel arm that pulls hose units while moving. When the tractor turns, the swing arm rotates to the side of the toolbar, maintaining the position of the hose in the row with respect to the tractor. From the tractor's cab, the operator can control the reel and steering of the hose. As it moves without a tank, the soil gets minimally impacted. Moreover, it provides a broader time window for spreading liquid manure throughout the row. According to the latest research, this manure applicator increases profits as it can be used when the crops are growing, which maximizes yield. Next, we have the Padfoot Roller from Homes. These types of rollers are used to provide static pressure, vibration, and impact on the materials. The drum of such rollers have oval or rectangular knobs that penetrate the top surface and compress the soil underneath. This makes the material on the top loose, so beneath the layer can be compacted when additional fill is distributed. It is ideal for granular and cohesive surfaces, but not suitable for the compaction of sandy areas. Last but not least, we have the Joskin Transpace 9200. It is an agricultural tipping trailer with a 30.8 cubic meter volume capacity and a body length of 9.2 meters. Professionals use it for transporting high volumes of potatoes. Its left side panel is 6.5 meters long, but 1.25 meters lower than the right one. This difference in bottom level reduces the falling height of potatoes while loading. The front and last axles can be steered, providing excellent maneuverability. The body's floor is made of 4mm thick hard ox, while the side walls are composed of grade 550 high tensile steel. The telescopic hydraulic tipping arm is mounted on a double oscillating frame on the front of the chassis. 
This device adjusts for tipping strain torsions and protects the hydraulic ram and body. It also incorporates tipping stabilizers, which securely keep the trailer on the ground during tilting. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.